What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode and live patient encounter on Braces Explained. I hope you guys have all been doing awesome and are excited for today's video. And what I'm gonna show you in today's video is the first appointment for someone that's getting braces on in my office. Now, I don't have the beginning part of this appointment because it's something that I didn't film because I was just meeting the patient for the first time. But when we first start off the appointment, what's not shown in this video is that we take x-rays and I'll talk about those x-rays in another video if you guys are interested but what we're gonna start off here is after I already performed my consultation and I came up with a diagnosis for this patient so we're gonna show you how I take photographs how we do scans take impressions of the teeth and then how we put braces on the upper arch basically everything involved in getting same day braces on not every orthodontist does same day braces and even sometimes I'm not able to do it in case the patient has cavities or if they need an appliance made that's something that we do at several appointments that lead up to it but in today's video we're going to show you a case where a patient can get her braces on on the same day and our awesome patient today actually is a youtuber herself and i'm gonna put a link to her channel in the description of today's video so really cool having her as my patient here and i'm gonna put the timestamps out in this corner so you can jump wherever you want in today's video and i'm gonna hop in and out here and explain to you what you guys are watching so you guys know so the first thing we're gonna do after the consultation is we're gonna get some photos of your teeth and we're gonna get photos of your cheek side on both sides and the front side of you biting down so that we can have photos of what your teeth look like before we got started with any orthodontic treatment and also we're gonna get photos of your upper and lower teeth so we have records so we can show you after we're all done as part of our composite we also take photos of the patient from the front smiling and from the side so and this is pretty standard so if your orthodontist did this or some variant of it let me know in the comments of today's video so after we have the photos of our patient what we're going to do next is we're going to do what's called an intraoral scan now not all offices have this sometimes we have a play-doh or a, like a goop that we use to take models of your upper and lower teeth but in this office, what we have is an itero scanner. And what this does is it's really awesome. It takes like thousands of photos every minute and it stitches them together using gyros to create a three dimensional model of your teeth. So we can have your before photos and your before models stored on our system. And the way we do this is we basically scan each arch as well as take photos of the cheek sides of the teeth to get the bite. So after we got our records taken care of, we let our patient pick what color they're gonna want for their braces and it's time to rock and roll. We're gonna start off by putting on cheek retractors and making sure that the teeth are super duper dry. We went into this in another video of how braces are put on and I'm gonna link that out as the pinned comment of today's video as well as in the description of today's video. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use etchin. And this is like a conditioner for the teeth. It makes little porosities on the teeth so that the braces can adhere to the teeth better. After this etchant soaks on your teeth for a little bit, we'll rinse it off and make sure your teeth are really, really clean before we put on what's called the primer. And the primer makes it so that your teeth are ready to receive the glue from the braces. Now, excuse this part. This was my first time filming a patient. This patient was actually filmed even before that last live content. And I was using my magnification, my dental loops, and there's a little light on that. And the light made it so you really can't see this part too, too well. So I'm gonna zip through this pretty quickly, but if you guys wanna see live content of braces being put on, it's gonna be in the comments and the description of today's video, so be sure to check that out. And what we do after we put on the primer is we go through with the blue light to make it so that it's dried onto the teeth, and now the teeth are ready for the braces. We start off putting the braces all the way in the back and work our way forward to make sure that the teeth are put on in the perfect location, and then we go and we detail and make sure that they're all perfectly positioned. And I'm sure some of you are asking, wait a minute, what about the lower teeth? Well, the lower teeth are gonna get braces in probably one to two more visits. And the reason I didn't do it right at this appointment is because the upper teeth and her lower teeth overlap quite a bit, and that's called a deep bite. And if I was to put braces on her lower teeth, her upper teeth would just shear those braces right off. So what I'm allowing is for those upper teeth to align a little bit and correct the angulation just a bit so that we have enough clearance so that next time or the following time we can put her lower braces on and she's ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna hop in here and say, if you guys are enjoying today's video and this live content, go down there and destroy the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the little bell so you can stay up to date with more content like this. All right, I'm gonna go and let you guys keep watching this video. After they're positioned in the right spot, what we do is we go through with a blue light and this blue light will harden the braces onto the teeth, making it so that they're fixed in that spot. Once the braces are fixed in that spot, it's time to tie in the wire and start delivering forces to start moving our awesome patient's teeth. Once 
what you can see in this case is that one of those teeth are pretty high up. So what I did was I didn't put the wire on there all the way because it was going to distort the wire. So if you guys are wondering why didn't I tie in that tooth and I threw a little lasso on there, it's to fish the tooth down a little bit before we go put on the wire to tie it in. So I'm sure the next time I see her, we're going to go ahead and put the wire in that tooth and bring it down to its ideal position. At this point, she's all tied in. We give her a little bit of a rinse and so she can suction out her teeth and she's good to go. She has braces on and she's ready to show the world. Now, at our next couple of appointments, what we'll be doing is tightening her braces as well as putting on her lower brace. So if you guys wanna see a continuation of her case, let me know in the comments of today's video and be sure to check out her channel so you can learn all about what she's doing on YouTube. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you guys wanna see more live content like this, let me know in the comments section. I will catch you guys next week on another episode of Braces Explained or this upcoming Wednesday to do a YouTube live and answer your guys' questions from today's video. But for now, Dr. Greg out. And be